Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Out, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. The unrivaled league is desperate. It is desperate. But before we jump in, this is Rudy's Rant, where we practice facts over feelings. I thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Please be sure to pound that like button, subscribe, ring that bell, become a member for our live membership only content, and go on over to Rudy's Rant on YouTube and subscribe over there also. Let's jump in on the topic at hand. The unrivaled basketball league is desperate, and they are showing it. They are absolutely showing it. They get a deal with TNT, which in terms of the deal, we really don't know. And now the league is still short of four players. And they put out this big presentation, this big announcement that they have signed Kate Money Martin. She is unrivaled, who's next? This announcement was made yesterday. With all respect, with all respect to Kate Martin. Kate Martin averaged 2.6 points her game in 11 and a half minutes per game. She shot 30.7% from the field and 35.5% from three. I mean, if we're just making up nicknames, folks, what should my nickname be? What should my nickname be? I mean, give me a nick, give me a nickname. I want to have a nickname. Because I am flabbergasted by the utter lunacy that is the unrivaled league. You have players that are going to be in this league that do not fit. They do not fit the style of basketball that this league will be. Brittany Griner does not fit. Oh, they actually have names of the teams on their website now. Look at that, too. Like, you got players on here that don't fit Brittany Griner being the main one because she can't run who the hell is this I want to say it before I want to know who I'm talking about before I before I embarrass myself but who the hell is Azura Stevens She averaged 10 points and 7 rebounds and 2 assists per game last year for the Sparks in 20 games played. I guess if you're looking for your best 30 players, she might be one of them. I I, I don't know. Who the hell is the unicorn? Satu Sabalu. They got all these silly nicknames. Stewie, Queen Fee, Point God, Arike, Gold Mamba, that's Jewel Lloyd, Plum Dog, Ryan, Ka, Jackie, the 305 Barbie. We know that that is now Angel Reese, so she's going to claim every area code that she goes to. Dierica Hamby, Mick Buckets, Kayla McBride, Marina Mabry, Unicorn, Alicia, that's Alicia Gray, Natasha Cloud, Skyler, Rikea, Dijanae, Sloot, Slim. Vander Sloot was barely playing in the finals. I mean, come on. Slim. Who is Slim? Brittany Sykes. I, I, I have no idea who Brittany Sykes is. Folks, like I said, I, I am not someone who watched lots of WNBA basketball. Brittany Sykes averaged 12 points a game and four rebounds and three assists. Okay. She's an okay player in 18 games. She's decent. Ja'Kyra Austin. <laughs> Shakira Austin. Let's see who the hell she is. She averaged 11.87 rebounds. I mean, okay. I'm finding out who these people are. Tip. 
Tiffany Hayes. Yeah, she was she was about to, she was like retired last year before the 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 Aces called her up. I think. Who's William Courtney Williams? Uh, yeah, hey, if you want someone that's gonna miss a whole bunch of middies, get Courtney Williams. And now you have Money Martin. There are three slots left. Let me tell you something. This is not the 30 best players. You don't have Asia Wilson. You don't have Sabrina Ionescu. You don't have Caitlin Clark. You don't have Aaliyah Boston. You don't have Kelsey Mitchell. You, I mean, there's a lot of players you don't have. But they're desperate. <clears throat> they're desperate. And I'm going to tell you why they're desperate. They think that this is going to make Caitlin Clark want to play. And if they end up being right and she decides to play, first of all, I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked because, uh uh. And then there's tweets and comments from people saying, yes, now we can go watch Caitlin and Kate play together. Y'all really, I mean, look, y'all really think a lot, y'all really think Kate Martin is like that girl. Like, she's not. She's not. She's a decent basketball player at best. This is desperation. This is we need Caitlin Clark or we know this league will fold in one year. Not one year, one season. So we know that if Caitlin Clark does not come on board by April, we are done. We got nothing left. These people don't want to blow their, these investors don't want to give their money away. They don't want to give their money away. And now that, you know, you have this report, which I didn't, I never talked about this, this ridiculous offer to Caitlin Clark from, you know, for money and all that crap. I, when they, they said, Unrivaled is reportedly re preparing a messy like offer for Indiana Fever star Caitlin Clark. A messy like offer? Do you know the money that Lionel Messi generates worldwide? And I get it. Caitlin Clark is now considered the number four most marketable global athlete by Sports Pro in London. That's sweet. That's sweet. Do you know what Kylian Mbappe gets paid? If you don't know who Kylian Mbappe is, that dude is a soccer player. All right? Kylian Mbappe makes 31.25 million euros. What is 31.5.25 million euros? That is 30, almost 34 million dollars a year. For Real Madrid. I thought he was making more money than that with this previous team, with Paris Saint Germain or Germain. He was making like $60 million, I thought, a year there. Maybe I'm wrong. Lionel Messi, they basically had to give him everything in the world to get him to come play for Inter Miami FC. I live down here. I know what it's done to the soccer community in South Florida. I know what it's done for the MLS. I know what's done for ticket prices to games of Inter Miami. I have not been to one. I have not been to one single Inter Miami game since Lionel Messi got here. Why? Because the tickets are outrageously priced. The franchise raised their ticket season ticket prices by like 500% when he got here. I got a friend who actually had season tickets and was grandfathered in at a previous price. Uh, let me see. He was grandfathered in at a previous price, and it's comedy because he was paying like 95 bucks a ticket, and his tickets now are like five times that per ticket, face value. Right now, Inter Miami plays. Um, they're in a they're in the playoffs and they're playing the Atlanta the Atlanta United and tickets for the next game that could be down here I think that would not even be it's a best of 3 so they might not even play it 
I mean, tickets are 200 starting at $200 on the sidelines. 135 I mean, these, are, these aren't that bad. I remember when he first got here, the prices were so ridiculous that it, it, it was just like, it's unsustainable because you're not going to get the local community to support it because they can't afford it. They can't afford it. I think this is also low right now because of the fact that it's... Um, the fact that it's, a, it's an if necessary game, but like for example, right now the prices for the game up in Atlanta, it's way cheaper. Well, they play in a they play in the in the Mercedes Benz Stadium, so they're playing in a humongous stadium. But yeah, th th this is it, he's generated so much money. So saying that you're gonna sit here and give her give her a Lionel Messi offer, I mean, get out of here, dude. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. You're going to give her part ownership of a league that doesn't exist? Like, that's what I found funny. It, it, it's like, they made, why in the world would Nafisa Collier and Brandon Stewart sign up to create, create a league and then basically give it away to everybody? Like, you're just giving away equity to everybody? You're giving equity to TNT? You're going to give equity here, equity there? I mean, I mean. Where does it say right here? I'm trying to find the, the specifics. They're reportedly poised to offer her a starting salary exceeding one million, which would be over three months, as well as equity and revenue sharing incentives. How much how much revenue is this league gonna produce? It's not gonna produce a profit. So how much revenue is it gonna produce? And you think that signing Kate Martin is going to make a difference? You really are desperate for Caitlin Clark. If, I, I have a hard time buying that Caitlin Clark will go play. I, I don't think it, I don't think the money matters to her because she's making a truckload in endorsements. So why does it matter? The only reason people play is because they have to. They have to. Most of these players have to. This is a subsidy to their income. So they don't have to go play in Europe. I get why a lot of the players are doing it. Angel Reese, she just wants attention. But most of these players, they don't make money like this. They're not millionaires. They're not millionaires. I think this is comedy. I think it's reeks of desperation. There's no way you can uh, first of all, from Caitlin Clark, I'm like, I'm not putting my name on this shit. Show me it works for a year and then we'll have a conversation. I'm not put your damn sure not gonna make me the face of your fucking league to build your league after the many of these players in this league try to take me out. Try to take me out. I thought Kennedy Carter was in this league. I thought she was in the league. She wasn't invited. I thought I thought she was going to be in this league. I, I thought for sure she'd be in this league. But anyhow, I, I mean, what are your thoughts on this? I, I think that it's a desperate move. I think it's a move of, 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 of flat-out desperation that you know your league is not very good. And you need to do whatever you can to draw attention to it. And you know that people aren't going to watch this shit. And you're begging now. So who are you going to sign next? Gabby Marshall? Who's next? What other Iowa player can you get? Because you have Kel Aaliyah Boston's not playing. Kelsey Mitchell's not playing. Like, what do we do? I, it, this is desperate. It's desperate. It's desperate. It's desperate. Whatever fake offer they want to offer, equity of what? Equity of a fucking non-money making of, or, or organization? I don't need equity in 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 a negative. In a negative, I'm not gonna look bad putting my face on some league, and I'm carrying y'all sorry asses who try to take me out all year. God bless Kate Martin. I like her, but this is a move of desperation, bringing in an average to below average role player who happens to be friends with Caitlin Clark. And then referring her as Kate Money Martin. Is that really her nickname? Did they just make that crap up? Because they made up a whole bunch of nicknames of people. I mean, some of these names I've never heard of. But whatever. 
Uh, it's, it's funny to me. It's funny. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Love to, love to know what you think. We hear talk facts over feelings on Rudy's rant. Jump on over to my other channel. Subscribe there. Share like. Pound that like button. Subscribe. Share it. And uh, become a member. Appreciate you. Come on now.